Hello, kamusta kayo? Magandang araw muli sa inyo. Nitong kahapon, eh, laman naman ang ating mga newsfeed. Itong sagutan ni na DJ Chacha or ni Zarina Balba ng uh, FM station na pag-aari ng ABS-CBN. Ito kay... Uh, yung kanyang mensahe kay Senator uh, Bato de la Rosa na hindi siya nasisiyahan kasi sa expression nito about his loyalty as a senator, his loyalty to the president. I will live and die with President Duterte. I will sink and swim with him. Hindi ako plastic na magsasabing wala akong bias. Totoong tao ako na magsabi na may bias ako towards the president. And DJ Chacha was not happy. So, on her tweet, she said, When you're a public servant, then your loyalty is towards a person and not towards the country. Ang tawag dyan, tuta. And she further suggested, I suggest mag-resign na dapat si Senator Bato sa pagiging senador at mag-apply na bodyguard ng presidente. Total naman ang loyalty niya ay sa Pangulo at hindi sa taong bayan. And Senator Bato responded by saying, I was voted by 19 million Filipinos at yung tumatawag sa aking resignation ang binoto niya yung mga natalo. Hmm, what do you think guys? He even said, What's wrong kung maging loyal ka sa isang Pangulo na duly elected president? Masama ba kung maging loyal ako sa isang tao? Sabi nila, dapat loyal ako sa Filipino people, hindi sa isang tao na Pangulo. Sino ba ang Pangulo natin? He represents the Filipino people. Yung loyalty ko sa kanya because he is loyal to the Filipino people. Ang ganda ng sagot nito ni General Bato. Pero, miniscoat yan, pinutol yung part na yan ng ibang stasyon o ng ibang mga intention talaga na pasamain siya. Kaya yung first part lang, yung may 19 million, kung, babas, kung yun lang ang manabasa mo, then mababadrip ka lang na ang dating ay tanga yung sumagot. I think we should rely on this one. When uh, once he said that uh, about his uh, loyalty to the president, okay. um, when the president was still a mayor and now the president of the Philippines, that uh, he's ready as a member of the Senate to provide checks and balances to the administration of Duterte. So, yeah, natin siya. Why don't we guys just let him do his job? Okay. Ang totoo kasi, ito yung mga gusto nating sana na sinabi niya. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe, click like, and the bell notification button so that you will always be updated with... Per Mark Twain, my kind of loyalty was loyalty to one's country, not to its institutions or its office holders. And former senator, and a great senator, Miriam Defensor Santiago, uh, subscribed to this uh, mark. She said, I don't mind dying for the Filipino youth and nation, but I certainly don't want to die for politicians. And the classic was from the Philippine uh, Commonwealth President Manuel L. Quezon, Kamuhaya ni Yorme. He said once that my loyalty to my party ends where my loyalty to my people begins. A simple as that. And sa marami siya, including to DJ Chacha, I understand your biases dahil you're part of ABS-CBN. Diba? You may be somehow get affected kapag na-disgrasya yung franchise. Pero... But hindi mo na lang. Why? Why can't you just? I know. I respect your freedom of your exercise of your freedom of expression, and that's what I'm also doing right now. And not to defend Senator Bato, but why can't we just let him do his job? After you know, he explained, and after all, he was right. He was voted by 19 million Filipinos, including me, and I'm not defending my vote. 
what I'm saying is, are we doing this because of the pressure of he might not uh, get his vote? And also to other people, are we, are we getting mad against him uh, because he said differently? From Mark Twain's or Miriam Defensor Santiago or from uh, Manuel L. Quezon. Okay. Parang sobra naman. Masyado naman tayong judgmental. Diba? Meron ng isa dyan, si Nino Yakino. He said, um, the Filipino is worth dying for. The Filipino is worth dying for. Well, that's according to Hero, uh, former Senator Nino Aquino. Pero paglipas na nga ng panahon, tignan naman natin ano ba nangyari, ano ba ginawa niya. Base sa kasaysayan mismo, natutuklasan na siya ay naging traidor sa bansa niya. Tanging dahilan lang naman niya ay maging, uh, tanging, gusto niya lang mangyari ay maging presidente ng Pilipinas. To the point na yung kanyang kaibigang matalik at kapatid sa for UP, uh, Upsilon, tama, tama ba fraternity nila? Ay, trinidor niya. At kumampi pa rin siya sa Malaysia para itaguyod ang kanyang interes na sinusuportahan ng Malaysia. Diba? Kaya nag- na, lumakas ang loob ng mga ng Malaysia na buuhin yung mga grupo ng MNLF at yung iba pang gaya ng MALF na nagahasik ng gulo doon, pati Abu Sayyaf. Eh, itong grupo ng Abu Sayyaf, na inabot. But MN and MI, inabot niya yan. Diba? And then, itong paghahasik ng kaguluhan ng mga communist, lalo na yung Plaza, Plaza Miranda bombing, he even sacrificed his party mates. So, diba, meron ng umamin si Victor Corpus, si former um, comrade ng, ng CPP, na sila yung nambomba doon, na may alam, may kinalaman, or may go signal nito ni, ni Nino Aquino. At buhay pa si General Victor Corpus. Oh, di ba? So, makikita na hindi nga siya karapat-dapat maging hero kasi ano bang nagawa niyang batas nga pala? The Filipino is worth dying for. Ayan, ang tanong ito. Bilang senator, ano bang nagawang batas ni Ninoy Aquino? Meron nga ba? So, I guess, hey, uh, just leave Senator Bato. I know, he's been under fire because uh, his allegiance to the president and no question about that ganun din to si Bongo eh, lalo na si Bongo tignan nyo naman kung paano tumulong yan sa mga tao diba? sabihin nyo ng nagnakaw ng nagnakaw bahala kayo sa buhay nyo and then pasamain nyo na lang ng pasamain ng loob ninyo pero patuloy pa rin ginagawa niya katulad na rin ng pag-upost ninyo noon kay Manny Pacquiao diba? and Tignan na lang natin, para sa akin, tignan na lang natin yung susunod na kabanata, yung resulta ng co-waranto, and then yung konsensya ng mga kongresista at ng mga senador na, na magiging basihan ang resulta ng kapalaran ng prangkisa ng ABS-CBN. At yung lalo ng bagong lumabas ngayon na expose nitong umuopo sa ABS-CBN sa kanilang ginawang pay-per-view. O, oh, ba? So, tingnan na lang natin yung mga susunod na kabanata. And then, doon sa 11,000 na uh, employees ng ABS-CBN, at doon din sa mga na, na nakadanas ng kalupitan no? ng, ng management ng ABS-CBN, eh, lahat tayo, tingnan natin. Oo, oh, oh, I know, I must admit, it's a national issue. Kasi ganun kalakas naman na talaga ang ABS-CBN based on history, oh, di ba? Na Binili ng gobyerno ni Marcos, tapos pagdating nito ni Cory Aquino, binigay lang uli sa kanila sa mga lopices. Yung ganun kalakas na yan, nakautang ng malaki sa DBP, allegedly hindi na binayaran, problema sa tax. O, diba, nagkaroon ng settlement, 40%, and then sabi nga, eh, wala pa rin daw namang bayad na ginagawa, although meron ng tax clearance. So, ganun kalakas. Well, tingnan natin kung ano magiging resulta, pero ngayon lang tayo nagkaroon ng presidente, katulad ni Duterte, na tama si General Bato, Handang bumangga sa mga oligarchs. Sorry, it's DJ.